Bien, llamamos eh, al uso de la palabra al compañero Alberto Emilio Yuzón, secretario general de la ICM. Ambet. From Africa, Amandla, Amandla, uh, Gerardo Martinez, Presidente ICM Latin America y Caribbean, Saúl Mendez, Secretario General Suntrax, Pierre Cupens, Vicepresidente ICM. Gerardina González Marroquín, directora regional adjunta de UIT, Su Excelencia Ministro Luis Ernesto Carles. Camaradas, amigos y amigas, delegados y delegadas en Asia. Asia. ¿No? Asia. Africa and Middle East. Africa. Okay. Europe. Oh. Latin America and the Caribbean. Yeah. Les comparto el saludo y la solidaridad de 12 millones de afiliados a la ICM. Sin luchas. Amandla, viva la SM, viva. viva. Compañeros y compañeras, mi primer agradecimiento es para Saúl Méndez, Genaro López, por el liderazgo y mem membresía para hospedar esta conferencia global. Este año, Suntrax celebra su 44 aniversario. ¡Viva el Suntrax! ¡Viva! También reconozco nuestros importantes socios en esta conferencia, CGT France, ACV Belgium and Union to Union Sweden. <laughs> Camaradas, 50 años de conflicto armado en Colombia han llegado a su fin con la firma del acuerdo de la paz entre el gobierno y las FARC. Nuestros afiliados en Colombia apoyan este proceso y la SM junto con el Movimiento Mundial Sindical apoyan con uno voto de sí en la próxima referéndum. No más guerra. No más guerra. Sí a, sí a la paz. Sí a la paz. La situación en Brasil es la más grave. Sin evidencia convincente de corrupción, las puertas políticas de la élite de derecha en Brasil han manipulado el proceso parlamentario para eliminar a Dilma Rousseff. Ahora las mismas fuerzas están tras Lula. 
Es ahora, camaradas, cuánto debemos mostrar nuestra solidaridad y apoyo. Estamos con Lula. Estamos con Lula. Lo que estamos viendo en Brasil no es exclusivo de Brasil. Las democracias y los gobiernos progresistas están bajo ataque en Latin América Latina. Los derechos sindicales y de los trabajadores también están bajo ataque. En lo que respeta a esta agitación política, necesitamos afirmar nuestra unidad, continuar ofreciendo solidaridad, la lucha política continua. Sin lucha, no sin lucha. No Comrades, I did my best and I'm practicing hard to speak in Spanish. I promise you, Gerardo, next year I'll do it better. <laughs> Comrades, on the global front, I, I hope you allow me to speak in English now. No? <laughs> Construction workers are fighting back in Russia, Qatar, and South Korea. Workers are organizing and uniting and standing up for their rights. To our Brazilian affiliates, your successful campaign for decent work during the 2014 World Cup and the 2016 Summer Olympics, your struggle is being continued in Russia and Qatar for the World Cup, in South Korea, in Tokyo for the Olympics. Thank you to our comrades in Brazil for your work in your campaign. Let's give them a big hand. Now, comrades, I am very happy to inform you that BWI just signed a memorandum of agreement with FIFA in Russia. Now, BWI can conduct a joint labor inspection in the stadiums for the 2018 World Cup in Qatar. With this agreement, BWI can con contribute in improving the health and safety condition of the workers, and they are able to organize the workers working in the stadium. Did you, do you think it's great? Now, as you are aware, one million migrant construction workers are exploited in Qatar. I want to inform you that BWI has taken a strategic move in Qatar. BWI is negotiating an agreement with multinational companies uh, construction multinational companies operating in Qatar, we want them to address the working condition and living condition of the migrant workers. In the country where migrant workers are not allowed to organize and form a trade union, BWI is now organizing in Qatar. BWI is educating the migrant workers to fight for their rights. Sin lucha. Thank you very much for your support in Qatar. I think we should continue the red card for FIFA until change is happening in Qatar.
Finally, comrades, we are all here to take an important decision to launch a global campaign to fight for decent and safe work for the cement workers around the world. As we all know, seismic changes are currently taking in the cement industry. First, the mega merger of Lafarge and Hulsim, followed by the international emergence of the Irish Cement Multinational CRH and the acquisition of Ital Cementi by Heidelberg Cement. The emergence of multinationals from the regional markets is driving growth in, the, in this sector. This includes the CNBM in China, the Birla Utratec in India, Votoran team in Brazil, and Dangote in Nigeria. These acquisition and mergers are happening with little regards for workers' rights. Thousands of workers are losing job secu security, experiencing outsourcing, contract labor, and increasing number of injuries and fatalities. The BWI is determined to challenge the industry's inadequate employment policy and labor practices through the mobilization of global solidarity. The BWI represent an estimated 150 cement plants around the world with over 100,000 of workers in the cement sector. Present today in this conference are more than 100 union leaders from 43 countries representing 77 trade unions. We are here today to find out the state of the cement workers around the world, to strengthen our global cement network of multinational companies, and at the end of this conference, we should be able to come up with a global campaign, a global action demanding for respect for workers' rights in the cement industry. BWI will demand a global agreement with multinational companies through a bottoms-up approach, through a simultaneous mobilization of the plant unions around the world with the same message, respect workers' rights, stop contract workers, stop workers' fatalities, and accident. Vivan Los Trabadores y Sindicatos del Cemento en el Mundo. Viva. Vivan Los Trabadores y Sindicatos del Mundo. Viva, Viva la SM, Viva. Viva. Muchas gracias.